Judge, today's case is Young and the Restless. If you watch me, you know how I feel about really young people getting married. It can work, but statistically, it's unlikely. Let's see if these two can beat those odds. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Lynn Toler presiding. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here today with Denisha Sanford and Kari Sanford. Mr. and Mrs. Sanford, the two of you have been married for a year, even though you've been together for three years. You do not, however, want to be married anymore. Mrs. Sanford, you are seeking $290 for rideshare reimbursement, and we're going to talk about that momentarily. But before we do, Mrs. Sanford, I'm going to start with you. Why don't you tell me a little bit about your marriage and why we're here in divorce court today? Um, we are here in divorce court today because I feel like I'm the only one who took our vows seriously. Um, Kari started stepping out of our marriage and he did not support me, I feel, when I went off to school. Mm -hmm. um, one day I had a big test. Yeah. And while studying before my test, I got a notification from AT&T. So I checked my phone and I was looking at the bill and I noticed that I had like 400 messages and Kari had like 2,000. So I was like, hmm, curious. So I <laughs> looked into the log and I found some numbers and I called some people and then I confronted him and he admitted to me that he had been seeing someone else. And um, Were you married at this time or this is before you got this married? This is why we are married. Before? While we are While married. you were married, okay. Yes. I went to school and mm -hmm. And that's what happened. Mr. Sanford, what, what do you have to say about that? I want a divorce, Your Honor. I, um, I, <laughs> I was in California, so I, I got stationed out in California. Uh-huh. And um, I was just real lonely out there. I didn't really know nobody. I, I wasn't hanging out with, with friends and homies and whatnot. So um, I wanted my best friend out there with me. So I brought Denisha out there, and uh, we got married. And... Um, you know, just as months went by and went by, I just kind of felt like I was, I was doing everything. I was, you know, paying all the bills. I was uh, uh, coming home and cooking, even though, you know, I work, I work on a rotation, so I work seven days a week, so right. we work a lot. But yet, I was still, you know, taking care of everything. Mm -hmm. So, um... Mm -hmm. She just wasn't wife ready, is what you're pretty much saying to me. <laughs> yes, Your Honor. Okay. But even though I, I wouldn't know what, you know, this is my first marriage, so. Right. And it's important to note. Yes, Your Honor. That you're 22 and you're 23. So you were like 21 and 22 when you got married, right? Yes, Your Honor. You know, which is like way too young, if you ask me. Right. And not only if you ask me, if you ask your mother, she would say the same thing. And right. I know that because she asked to come here and I'm going to talk to her right now. Anil Lizette, could I, could I speak with you, please? Thank you. Uh-oh, she's walk, walking with purpose. <laughs> <laughs> Ms. Lizette, why don't you tell me what you knew about this union and what you felt and what you said. Well, Your Honor, for one, I told them not to do it. Right. From the get-go. For one, they're young. They still got their life to live. From they go to another state and trying to get married, you still got stuff to do. Your hormones gonna be acting crazy. But when he called me on a Tuesday and was like, Mom, I'm getting married this weekend. So I'm like, what? So then I had a flashback of my life because that's what I did 20 years ago to his dad. Uh -huh. I married his dad who was going off into the military. So I knew it wasn't going to work then. But they wouldn't listen. They're they not going to listen to me. But the thing that got me was he called me. You know, I was always their counselor, you know, whatever they needed. Right. And I love Denise. She's a beautiful, beautiful girl. I love her to death. But the thing that got me was Kari called me and was like, Mama, she came and got some stuff, but she got my cords, my chargers, my modems, and all these cords to do anything. So I, instantly, I was like, my baby up there suffering hurt. So I was like, I got to do something. So that's why we're here. We need your help. They need your help. I need your help. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Sanford, do yes. you feel Ms. Lizette's love? Do, do, do you think that, that she was upset about the union and not you, or do you believe it was you? I don't believe she was upset with me. Um, Did you listen to her when, you, when, when she talked to you? 
Because I know you've even called her for counsel, has she not? Yes, uh-huh. Yeah, but I think sometimes her advice was a little one-sided for sure. Just so this thing won't feel lopsided, Mrs. Sanford. Yes. I'm gonna bring out your friend, Taryn Blakeney. Ms. Blakeney. Yeah, you said it right. How are ya? I'm good. Come How on are out. You? Hey, y'all. Now, Ms. Blakeney, how long have you known Mrs. Sanford? I have known Nisha for like three years, okay. going into four years. Now. When you look at this union, what do you see? Honestly, Your Honor, um, I feel like they shouldn't have gotten married, period. I feel like they were too young. Kari's not perfect. He's, he's kind of a jerk. I'm not going to sit here and sugarcoat it. And I'm going to tell you me the why. most jerkified thing he did. <laughs> <laughs> I want to hear that, so too, The Donna. most jerkified That's thing. Like Let's go on down memory jerk. lane. So this is the first year I met them. Because when I met them, they were already together in a mm -hmm. relationship. Um, they weren't... They were, like, going through, like, a break at this point, so they weren't together. But um, I had invited one of my friends over, and he invited a friend over. So we kind of had, like, a wingman situation going on. And Nisha was, you know, my faithful wingman. Mm -hmm. And um, we were all at the house chilling, you know, kicking it. And the next thing I know, Kari storms through, and the first <laughs> person he sees through the door is me. And he, like, literally yelled in my face. Face. Like, Your Honor, I don't even... He I, went I, I, off. I'm gonna talk to you about it. Hang on. I mean, he finish. went off on me. And to me, that shows, like, he has anger issues. He has anger problems. And another thing I felt is if he was very controlling of who Nisha tried to spend her time with. And I can give you an example of that because within the first year of us being friends, we had to stop being friends for maybe six or almost seven months, just about, because he decided he didn't want her hanging out with me. He didn't want me on her social media with her. He just considered me to be a fun girl, and he didn't want her to be around me at uh, all. Around a fun girl. Now, now Mr. Sanford, you want to you respond to yes, that? Yes, yeah. Go right ahead. So <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was things that happened where I just, because I never told her I didn't want you to be friends with her. That was all on her. She was like, I was realizing that this and this was happening, and it was unhealthy for our relationship. That's what she told me. So uh, I was, I would just, I would just see things like she was always, like she said, wingman. But I felt like it was more like distracting her yeah, distract with with a single life and all right. of that kind of stuff. When you, when you talked to her and she said, "Don't get married," why did you disregard her advice? I was just, I was just bickering. <laughs>
And um, people were looking, and Kari like looked at me, looked me up and down, and was like, "I just can't figure out what everybody's looking at." And I was like, mm -hmm. "Wow." No, I'm I, sure those were not his exact words. You literally said them, that. I don't even I'm recall sure. that at all. You literally, right now. Well, I remember it. This doesn't seem like his character. I, I, I wouldn't say. You know what, though, Miss? You know what, Miss? Miss Lizette, I will say this. That's different. I have six sons, the ones they are in my house, uh -huh. and the ones that I get reports on out of my house sound like two different people. Do you know what I'm saying? You never really know right. until you know. Right, you, you never, you, that's you, right. You, you don't know, well, you, Yana, you think, I, I just don't talk that way, Yana. Like, yeah, this, even this even, like even he, just I, disrespecting her, when, I wouldn't. I he wouldn't, was raised, you know. I, even though I did, I did a good job on him, a great job. So when he's out, you know, I don't get bad reports. So I don't hear bad things. So this was it's shocking. Early. It's early. It's early. It's early. It's gonna always be early. Uh, yeah, no, it, it, it's early. My baby, he don't. He just don't do. They just don't seem like he would do that. Good I home training is wonderful, all, though, yeah. but they make it's mistakes. Just, just saying, with... Mr. Sanford, yeah. were you less than attentive to your new bride? I mean, maybe my my focus got off a little bit, but I was never like. What are people looking at? I can't imagine myself saying something like that in the first place, but. You know, I've always complimented Denisha all the time. I've always, you know, told her how good she looked. I'm always telling her I love her and things like that. So it, it's just like when she went off to college and I kind of just felt, you okay. know, by myself and, and I felt like, you know, I'm just... When you talk to your mother seems like a fairly reasonable person. When you, when you talk to her and she said, don't get married, why did you disregard her advice? I was just, I was just big headed. <laughs> I was just big headed. I wasn't trying to hear it. I was just trying to do, you know, what, what I wanted, wanted to, to do, do with my life. Mm -hmm. at that, at, and me and me and Denisha wanted to. We both wanted to, you know, take that step. She wanted to come out with me. You know, what I mean, we were just. That's just kind of how we wanted to, mm -hmm. what we wanted to do in our lives. So we just decided to take that step. I've made so many mistakes and had so much fun between 21 and married, I can't even begin to tell you. That's what that's for. It's a learning experience. You know what I mean? Can, can I get an amen, mama? If you would like your case to be heard on Divorce Court, call us toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com. Miss the show? Watch full episodes on our streaming platforms and for exclusive content, go to Apple TV. Miss Sanford, are you really done? You know, because guys can make that decision. They can decide that they don't want to be married and move on women. Man, we get stuck. I see stuck on your face. What you gonna do, sis? <laughs> yeah. Tell me how you really, now's the time. Tell me how you really feel. I really don't know. I really don't know. I'm definitely leaning more towards like not continuing this marriage. If mm -hmm. it continues the way it is, I couldn't imagine myself. Like I'm just, I'm just as unhappy as he is. So But you want him to. You think if he can just step up his game, the marriage will work out? I don't want him to do anything, but if Kari wants to, then this will work. But if he doesn't want to, this will never work. I just won't do it. I just... Mm -hmm. Never make a, allow a man to decide for you what your future is going right. to be. Mm -hmm. It's not his job to make up your mind for you. Yeah. It's your job to make up your mind for you. Don't say, well, if he's willing, I will decide that whether you did the right thing or you didn't do the right thing. Do you understand right. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I'm not right or wrong, but just, it, it just wasn't a call to make. Right. You know, and you weren't ready to make that call. Because 20, I mean, can you, I had yeah. so <laughs> much, I made so many mistakes and had so much fun between 21 and married, I can't even begin to tell you. Yeah. That's what that's for. It's a learning experience. You know what I mean? Can, can I get an yeah. amen, amen, Mama? Hallelujah. I wrote a book called Dear Sonali, Letters to the Daughter I Never Had. Oh. The first three quarters of the book don't mention men at all. Thank you. Because it's about how you pursue who you are intellectually, emotionally, educationally, professionally, financially. And you, when you are all that 
an all woman, then you can get to the last chapter of the book and add a dude in it because you come to them full grown and ready to roll and ready to do roll up your sleeves and do the hard work that is marriage. You know, the wedding's fun. Honeymoon's fun first year, a little rocky because you, 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 you're trying to change things and make decisions, but you've got to come to that fully grown. You too. Yeah. Yes, and it takes them longer than it does us. I'm just saying. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just true. true. Ms. Lizette? Yes. Ms. Taryn, you may have a seat. Okay. I'm having trouble with your last name, so I'm just calling you by your first name. Mm. No disrespect intended. You want $290, Mr. Sanford, for Mr. Sanford after all of this is over. Tell me why. So, um... Towards the end of the semester last year, Kari um, booked my flight for me to come back to California. And when I got to the airport in Vegas, he didn't pick me up. So, we and, already hang, hang on, hang on, I'm gonna get to you. He actually booked the flight for the middle of the night. So I got there at probably like midnight and he didn't pick me up. So I had to take a ride share to get to Barstow, California. Definitely out into the sticks. So that ride throughout the desert was terrible. It was like four in the morning. Trying it's to sad for that. Did you not pick her up at the airport? No, Your Honor, I didn't. But it it was because me and her had discussed. We before before so in the army we had to write all of our appointments. There. Mm -hmm. So I wrote down on the board picking up wife from airport on this date, and that was probably two weeks prior. So uh, it come down to it. She was like. She's gonna have a ride. I had got off late. She's coming in at, at 12, at midnight. So I was, I was, um... Do you know who she had a ride with? No. No, I didn't. Cause I didn't have a ride. I didn't. I just know that she was just uh, going through contacts and just calling everybody. Even though we had already talked about it and discussed it, I had to be to work at 6 a.m. I'm just, I'm trying to, um, I'm, 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 I'm helping her find a ride, really, because... I'm just giving her like options, like we can ride. do this, we can do that, just better, better ways. But the only way that she wanted to come home is if, is if she was in a car with somebody. Let me say this, Mr. Sanford, your woman. Is it somewhere she not been before or, or somewhere at midnight? And she got to be four hours to get to you? You show. It's not safe. It's not right. Yeah. It's not reimbursable, but it's not right. <laughs> Do you understand what I'm saying? You show up for your woman. You, right. you, you don't let stuff happen to her. <laughs> it's not safe out there. People, do, people doing anything. I ain't mad at either one of you. I think you're both beautiful young people. You made a little mistake. You, you, the marriage is over. You end it. You end it as friends. You remember that you remain friends. You don't, you don't, you, oh. No, well, I know him, so let's have sex with him. Uh-uh. None of that. And, and it was a hiccup. Yeah. It was just a hiccup. The rest of your life is, is laid out before you like a golden pathway to Oz. Enjoy your trip. There will be no recovering this matter. It is so order. You think that there's any hope here? I know you said you may be open to, may to making, you know, making uh, things better here, but I think no, it all falls with you. I'm done. Completely. I want a divorce, yes. Do you guys think that you should have listened to Mama here or what? Of course. Now that we're looking back on it, then. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then what's next for you moving forward? Uh, I just graduate, I get my master's, and I start a career. Do you think you guys can stay friends? 